Welcome to my lab. You see all these cords and everything. But I got some new strand of Cheto. See, I just got this new tank. This one is my experimental laboratory type tank. Um, just growing out macros. See, I'm growing out <laughs> something in there. Just a whole bunch of pods to see they stay secluded and do some crazy stuff. I have pods in another tank, but I just want to um, really keep them far away for another experiment to see. So this is a different shade. Do you see how green this stuff is? And the other one is darker because that's a stringy type of thing. That whole tank is just dirty. I just left it dirty for a reason. See if we can get all the nutrients and all the gunk and see how fast it can grow so that's why i don't care the condition of this tank is filthy do not care um seclude certain things and pretty much it's only up and running for two days but everything's cool it's there's no really no life in there because i'm just gonna dump and dump and dump like iron and magnesium and calcium in there to see the results and if by the looks of it I think this ball is going to grow like crazy like the macroalgae was like super soft different um, strand it reminds me of something I got from Orange County um, super lush super soft super grows fast the stringy stuff over there that feels like plastic string eh depends on your tank but sometimes it's just very hard to manage and it doesn't grow well if you know what I mean because there's so many different types of macro algaes out there uh, especially Chetomorphia there's different strands I think they're doing a study on it right now too you can mail off your Cheto and they will test it and see where it comes from but anyway keep you updated on the progress of the Cheto and the floating Cheto with the uh, am amplipods and pods and little worms and whatever else is in there it might outgrow so i might have to put in a bigger thing but for now i'm not going to do that so cheers see you later holla